Good afternoon and thanks for joining me and this is Robin and I'm getting back to journal making and I'm trying to figure out a closure for this. I did a brad with some tie but it won't stay closed and I know it's because I'm getting it chunky so I'm wondering if anybody has any ideas to let me know. I also have this cord that I put these knots in to tie them together to make it bigger. I also have this and I might have some rope. So. This here is a manila folder journal. The outside is um, just a piece of um, cardstock that's on a row. It's like brown paper that you get the Dollar Tree and I crumbled it up. And after I crumbled it, I crumbled it like two or three times. Then I went in with um, vintage photo. And then after that, I use my Mod Podge on it. Um, I have two eye hook, eyelets here and um, I put a brad there with an elastic but it's not holding and I know it's because I'm getting it chunky but it's not done by no means. I'm just trying to get some ideas for in, a closure for it so if anybody knows where I could use please let me know. So I'm going to take you inside. Let me see here. There's a lot of stuff in here. So let's go to the middle part. Okay, these are all manila folders and they have been folded. So this one here has got a planner top and then you pull on it and it makes three. There's a clip there and if you pull again and go this way, these have nine papers and I just started embellishing. I got an envelope right there. There's pockets. And then nine more here. I have a little card in there. Like I said, it's not completed. And I got nine papers on in each one. Okay, there's a spot here. I have a little booklet here that's at the end of this. And then when I close this, You close that pot like that. So this one here has got an envelope and then nine pieces of paper and nine pieces of paper on this one. That one's sealed. Nine pieces of paper. So see you got three going across and then here is the the front. So I have this little bag that I've already made before that I'm thinking it will go well if I attach it here. Okay, then when I close this and I go this way, I'm going to show you what I mean. When I pull this this way, I've got them all here too. See, this has got an envelope here, paper here, paper here, and paper on this side. So you got nine. 18 and another nine you just keep going with it and it just folds see like that so anyways i'm liking how this is coming i don't only have one on this side but i have more on this side if you pull you got four here one two three four then when you fold it and then you go this way you got one, two, three. So you got seven booklets. Plus you got the tuck spots. You got a tuck spot here. And you got a tuck spot right here when you open it. Then if I went this way, you got tuck spot here and let's see that's sealed and that's sealed so that one's sealed and this one's a tuck spot and this one's a tuck spot so you got five tuck spots so I'm really liking how this is going I just need some ideas for a closure 
because it's getting real thick. Um, I don't know if I should just use a tie around it. See that? It's getting real thick. This did close. So I curved the ends of this and I added some cardstock to make that thicker to hold that. And some of the things I'm going to use are some of these doilies, some of these little pieces. I'm going to use this glassine bag. I'm also going to use this little booklet that I made and this little tuck spot that looks like a little jacket. So anyways, let me know what you guys think. I'm at a standstill. Um, I worked quite late last night because Jocelyn was in the hospital and she came home yesterday. So um, I started putting this together and it was coming out really good. And then um, I just took a break just now just to figure out what I'm going to do to keep that closed because it's quite thick. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for joining. Have a great and blessed day. Bye-bye.